Hey guys, Lone Woodsman here with you. Today is another tarp shelter video, except today we're going to use our poncho. This is uh, the enhanced, I think it's enhanced mest poncho from Bushcraft Outfitters. It's a fantastic poncho. It's got a lot of venting on the sides, the way they have it made up, so you don't you don't sweat profusely underneath the thing. So. I'm really a big fan of it. So uh, first thing we're going to do is run our ridge line. <clears throat> uh, we'll go from this tree here to this tree here and you guys, I don't even know if you can see either one of them. But we're going to go ahead and run our ridge line and then we'll get this uh, shelter set up. Stick with me guys. Okay so for this end of our ridge line we're just going to tie a Siberian hitch. Take your, in this case, paracord around the tree wrap it around your hand once the tag end wrap it around your hand once go under the running end twisting up and over the running end grabbing that tag line pulling it through the loop that you create pull that down tight just like that and then just slide that up against the tree I really like this one in the winter time because I could tie it with gloves on now let's go over to the other tree and we're going to tie a trucker's hitch. Okay so here we go around the tree like this and a good way to tie the trucker's hitch is to, to measure where you got to put your loop that we're about to put in. Just put your arm against the tree and grab, grab the line wherever your fingers end and that's where you're going to put your loop. Move this camera here quick. Okay, so our loop, we want facing towards the tree that we're tying to, if that makes sense. So you, you, take, a, you take a loop, just like this. It's hard to do while I'm looking in the camera. All right, take your loop, fold it over towards the tree that you're going to, grab that line that's in the middle of that loop there, pull that tight. Just like that. Clear as mud, right? Okay. <laughs> Take a loop. This is the, the tree that we're tying to right here. So we make a loop just like this, just by folding, just make a loop, just like that. Now, Aim that towards the tree that you're going to. This is the end that's going to be going around the tree. Lay that over top of there so you have something that looks like this. Now grab that cord in the middle and pull it. And you'll get that loop. Okay? Okay. Now we'll go around our tree. There's the loop we just made. You go through that loop then, pulling it real tight, as tight as you want. Now I'm not gonna pull it tight right now, just so I can stay in frame and show you how to tie it off. So after you've pulled it tight, you guys see me here? You've pulled it tight. Now you wanna pinch it right there at that loop you created. Flop, flop some of your cord over top, just like that. Then pulling it through, the tag end, pulling it through that loop. You just cinch it down. Okay, so. I can't explain nothing today. I don't know what's going on with me. Alright, so here you go. You go around the tree. You got your loop. Take your tag end. Go up through that loop. Now you're going to pull it down nice and tight nice and tight so you, say you've got it nice and tight right there where that loop is you want to pinch it now you take a bite put it over top now your tag end you pull through that bite cinching it down tight and that's a trucker's hitch if you don't pull it all the way through like I did here just like that you leave that loop and it's slippery which means it's real easy to untie. You just pull that, 
pull that, and then this here, and you're done. All right, so let's put this in. I know I'm explaining things like amazing today, huh? Taking more time to try and explain a simple knot than it would take to put the whole shelter up. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Next step is the poncho. Okay, so we got our poncho. Pretty sweet poncho, eh? Okay, now let me make sure I don't have any of it snapped together. Nope, we're good. Okay, now you're gonna wanna take a corner of your poncho and attach it to your ridge line. Now, the corner you wanna attach, you wanna be mindful of where your hood is. Like if I put it this way, the hood is going to be up towards any rain that would come down. So you just wanna spin that around and attach this corner now our hood, the opening, is going to be facing down. So if we get any weather, any rain or anything like that, it's not going to come in the opening of our hood. Okay, now. Like usual, my uh, ridge line has Prusix already rigged up to it. So I'm going to take the tag end of that Prusik knot, put it through the uh, tabs. Oh yeah, I guess I sh should mention that. This poncho has uh, little tie-out tabs on it like your tarp would. Then I'm going to take, again, a toggle, one of my favorite things, put that in there. We got one end done. Now we got to just pull our other end out, stake it down, stake down our two corners. We're all set. Let me grab some tent stakes and we'll get to it. Okay, so I knocked out three tent stakes real quick. We're going to take our back corner here. Pull this out tight. Now we want to do the same on the sides here. Whoop, here on the sides. And last one on the other side. And there you go. Now, what about the hood? Now I like to take mine, roll it up, put it inside the hole where your head would come out, pull that drawstring down tight, and then we're going to attach it, <coughs> excuse me, attach it to our ridge line. So again, I got the Prusix. We'll just find any old toggle here. Now we'll take this up. Find a good spot here. 
take our prusik through the drawstring of our hood for our poncho and put a toggle in there. There we have it guys. That is our poncho shelter. It's real quick, easy to set up. Uh, I've personally never used it because if it's raining, I'm wearing my poncho while I'm setting up my, my tarp. But there's a lot of, you know, the ultralight people out there, they don't want to carry a tarp and a poncho or to each his own, right? Let's take a look at it. Okay, so here's the other side of the poncho tarp, or poncho, poncho shelter, excuse me. Here's what we got going on. There's the hood. You can see how I got it closed up. If the camera would focus on it rather than the grass. There we go. You can see it's all cinched up and closed. And then that's the drawstring. Like I said, just take it right up to a toggle on our ridge line. Here's what we look like from the back. Okay guys, so that's how you set up a uh, tarp shelter using your poncho. Like I said, this is uh, a Bushcraft Outfitters poncho if you guys aren't familiar with that company go on over and check them out great products great people great customer service i could go on and on but i won't uh i thank you all for watching please like comment share subscribe and as always everybody see you in the next one take care